Hi, it's Gavin again from Lucid Computer Solutions. Hope you're well. So today, what I want to talk about is a TP-Link router and how this may help you get more out of your mobile broadband. And what I mean by mobile broadband is rather than having um, a fixed fiber connection like you traditionally do at home from the likes of BT, Virgin, other companies are available, then using a SIM card inside a router and using the same technology that your mobile phone uses for data to provide your home broadband connection. This is something which is getting more and more popular, particularly in kind of rural locations where there isn't any fibre installed in the area. So it's just not an option to people. If there's decent mobile phone signal, then this is a realistic option. And I've done a previous video about this as well. So I will also link to that video. So specifically, very specifically though, what I wanna talk about is getting the most of it. And potentially, if you're using this solution already, potentially, and I'm using the word potentially, please note that, um, doubling your broadband speeds. So, real world example of, of what's gone on here. I use the mobile broadband solution myself uh, with a SIM card in from Smarty, and I can get a complete mixed bag of broadband speeds. So sometimes it might get as high, and this is obviously subject to where I am with signal, um, I sometimes might get up into the high 20s, like let's say 28 megabytes, but at times I can be low as six, seven or eight megabits. On average, when I run my periodic speed test, because I'm a bit of a geek and I like to do that, um, I suppose in all fairness, my average is around about 15 to 18 megabits, which isn't super quick, but it's also not super slow and it's perfectly adequate to run the likes of Netflix, Amazon Prime, Spotify, BBC iPlayer, all that fun stuff works perfectly fine. So anyway, I don't want to digress too much. That is my scenario. I've had that set up for a good while now. Um, I think this is purely from my memory, maybe 18 months or so. And I was using the TP-Link um, I think it was the MR400 router, which I bought at the time, which is a decent router for this solution, something I've recommended to our customers and installed for our customers. So no problem with that. However, um, a friend of mine, John, if you're watching this video, I'm referring to you, you know who you are. Um, I was talking to him about kind of mobile routers and uh, what's out there. And he recommended I check out this router, so it's another TP-Link, but this one is the MR600. And this is, uh, look upon this as the big brother of the MR400. Now the number one difference between this and the MR400 is, this one uses something called CAT6 technology. Now, for some of you who are a little bit geeky, I am not referring to data cabling I know in the IT world and data cabling, you'll hear things like Cat5, Cat6. That's not what I'm referring to. It uses a mobile technology called Cat6. So basically, what it basically does is try to combine two channels from a mast. And it tries to combine two channels and therefore double your speeds. Whereas my previous router, the MR400, which is Cat4, would just use a single channel. So you just get whatever the speed is of that single channel between the mast and your home. Whereas with this router, the MR600, it will use two of them and it will kind of combine them, almost like bond them together to potentially double your speeds or to simply give you more consistency in your speeds. So, in the real world, what does that mean? What difference have I had by switching my router from the 400 to the 600? So the number one point here is my internet speeds are a lot more stable. The fluctuations I mentioned where I was getting, sometimes getting eight meg, sometimes getting 15, sometimes getting 20, sometimes getting 25. There's a lot less of that going on. The speed tests I've done so far, and I've only had it in about a week or so, it's consistently now above 30. I've seen it as high as 40 
which I'd never got before on my old router, but it's consistently above 30 and it's stable. So it's always around that 30 megabytes all the time. Now, big disclaimer, this could be coincidence. And the only way of knowing is when I've done this over a much longer period of time, i.e. many months, and I will keep testing. But the early indications are I have dramatically improved the reliability and the speed of my 4G uh, speeds at home by switching to this router, the MR600, which has the dual channels. There's a nice little diagram on the back here where it's explaining here about the two channels, which kind of combine together to give you potentially, and I noticed the word I'm using potentially, double the amount of speeds. And for me, yeah, I found I've 100% my internet speeds got quicker. More importantly, it's more stable and more reliable. So if you're looking to either look at deploying a 4G or 5G for that matter, whatever it may be, um, solution at home instead of traditional fiber broadband, my number one recommendation now is this router. That's the MR600. I will link to it down below. So please do click out the link down below. And I'll also link to, just as an example, um, Smarty, who provide my SIM card for this router. I get unlimited broadband for, I don't know, something like £20 a month. It's not much. So I use that in conjunction with this router and off I go. So I will link to both of them um, products down below. Please do check that out. But yeah. If you are looking either at getting this for the first time or you have perhaps like me an older 4G router using the Cat4 technology, I highly, highly recommend you upgrade to this one. And as I start, stand here talking right now, um, I think the price of this router is around about the £120 mark. So it's not super expensive at all. It's really good value for money. So please do check it out. And again, a further disclaimer. I don't actually use the Wi-Fi built into this router. I have a Unify network at home. That's a conversation for a different day. But So I can't tell you about the Wi-Fi speeds within your home using this router because I use my own Unify equipment at home to provide the wireless around the house. I don't actually use the Wi-Fi built into this unless there was a problem with my Unify kit and then I would turn it on. But I use this purely to give me an internet connection. So big disclaimer there. So what I'm saying is if you want to double your actual broadband speeds when you're using 4G, you should consider this. Okay, so that is it for today. I am going to wrap things up. Um, all the links are down below to connect in with me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, and all the rest of it. Please feel free to comment on the video. I do read them. If you have a question about this technology, how it works, please do comment and I do try and read them from time to time and get back to everybody uh, as and when I have that bit of spare time. Please do subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And likewise, smash that like button for me. That's the best thing you can do to help our channel is smash that like button and subscribe for me. Um, it's not a lot to ask, is it? Um, so please do that. I would appreciate it. So that's been me, Gavin from Lucid Computer Solutions. See you on the next video.